Hey guys, this is gonna be a short update video this week. Um, an interesting thing happened, so you can see the uh, my corn snake pair here, um, just sitting together calmly. Here is the male. This is a head scaleless head ultra um, male who is in shed right now, as you can see, and. This is the female, the scaleless not female. Now, um, these have been sitting together since the start of the breeding season, but I haven't seen any breeding activity at all. And before that, the female was sitting with my uh, scaleless snow male, who has never fed, unfortunately, in my care, and it was sold to me under false pretenses, apparently. Um, he's being force fed, and he's a tiny animal, so I don't. Uh, I keep them separately and try to save his life. Uh, he's also in shed right now. So I wasn't expecting anything this breeding season because I haven't seen breeding activity from any of the males. But something interesting has happened and um, I opened the cage door the other day and I found the female laying eggs. And I let her be and she laid eight eggs. Unfortunately, seven of those eight are infertile and only one single egg is fertile um, but you know one egg is one egg and I really don't know who the father is and since there is a very low uh, fertility rate actually the father may be um, from the previous owner uh, this female might have stored some sperm because I know that she was bred last year as well uh, so that might be the case, or she might have bred with one of these guys. I have no idea. For those of you who don't know the snake, this is a corn snake, a regular corn snake, but it's missing its scales, except for the scales that is on the uh, bottom of the snake, basically. Um, this is a uh, single gene mutation. It's a recessive mutation, like albinism, leucism, etc. And... Um, these snakes do survive, they are not very good breeders, they don't lay a lot of eggs, etc. But they do survive and thrive and eat and shed properly. Um, they're just missing their scales. You guys can watch my other videos about the snake. But um, she actually laid some eggs. And... She didn't feed uh, for two weeks and she has always been a good feeder so that should have basically signaled me but I was thinking of other things and then all of a sudden she laid the eggs and she fed right after she laid the eggs so it is what it is. Alright I will put these things back in and um, I will show you the eggs. Alright guys um, as you can see this is the incubator. Uh, set to actually 30 degrees but it only heats up to about um, 28 degrees or so there's a digital thermometer inside so 28 degrees is a good uh, corn snake incubating temperature I have two containers in there I will briefly take them out and show them to you uh, the first container on the below uh, has seven infertile eggs I'm still incubating them in case I missed uh, the embryo, but I think they're, uh, you know, I'm 100% sure actually that they're infertile, but I'll just keep them there. Uh, and then in the above container, I have my single fertile egg, which I candled and uh, saw the embryo in there, so I'm certain that it's fertile. I will really quickly take these out for you. As you can see, there's a single fertile egg there, sitting in a hatch right, right in there, and seems like it's a healthy egg, but we'll see. I'll put it back in so I don't mess with it too much.
and here are the infertile eggs as you can see the color is off in fact I see already that there's some um, marks on top of them even though they're sitting in hatch right um, they seem to be already showing signs of rotting um, but I'm gonna keep them in there to see how they uh, basically develop and what happens to them but I candled them there is no embryo in there they are misshapen uh, they are not as uh, strong as the single other egg all right they go back in as well okay so that's basically it um, that's my lucky reptile incubator again it has a couple degrees uh, temperature difference between what it shows and what my digital temperature shows but other than that it's keeping the temperature constant so that's what matters for me and hopefully um, I will have a baby and I have no idea who the father is so uh, hopefully in about 55 days or so, well, 53 left, um, we will see, it's a puzzle, I hope the egg survives. Just a small bonus before we go away, as you can see my white cobra has shed and he was sunning himself, he showed his glorious hood to us as well. And I just wanted to show you guys something venomous before I turned off the video, but obviously he was sunning for the last 20 minutes and now I started filming and he's going back into his humid hide. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Bye.